Sue Brooke here. Um, right now I thought I would, gosh, I look tired again. Oh my gosh, I've been working really hard. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to give you a few books that you could read if you're an entrepreneur especially. Um, these are some of the books. Actually, if you go to my website, suebrook.com, and click on resources, and then if you scroll down to books I recommend, there's a bunch of books there that I love that I've read over the years that I really like. I need to add some more, but there's a few here. Um, that you really need to read, like everyone should, like Think and Grow Rich, okay? I talked about that a lot. That's awesome, awesome, and you really should read it every every year, at least once a year. And actually, I read a book, uh, gosh, when was it? Today, I, I heard something. It was th another book I was reading, and that said you should read that book every year, and that some people have n been known to do it. What you want to do is take a, like a yellow highlighter and highlight all the important things that you learned or that you want to remember or that was important to you when you read Think and Grow Rich and then the next year when you read it again use a different color highlighter and the guy that I was talking about it in a different book I was reading said that he did this three years in a row and every single year the highlighters that they never overlapped they you there was something new that they learned every single year that they read that book so I thought that was kind of interesting so um, I read it quite often I listen to it okay I'm a I'm an audible freak so I love listening to books I don't have a whole lot of time to sit and just read them hi Luann oh my gosh it was so great hanging out with you last night can't wait to see you on Monday um, the law of success by by Napoleon Hill super long books like 24 hours long but it's really really good too highly recommend uh, any of the Napoleon Hill books think and grow Rich, The Law of Success, um, Start With Why. I was just talking to my good friend Bill Miranda the other day, and that's a big book that he really recommends to read, Start With Your Why, which is a lot of people, um, you know, when you start a business or you're, whatever you're doing in your life, you need to understand what your why is, you know, why are you on this earth? Um, Robert Kiyosaki books, those are really good. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and The Second Chance, really, really good. Those are great Great books to listen to if you want to learn more about money. Really, really like those too. Um, some other ones, The Power of Positive Thinking is good. Um, and of course, Jack Canfield. Boy, The Success Principles. That's a book that was my kind of Bible for a long time. Every time I would get in a downward kind of place or a place where I was kind of sad or going through a hard time, I usually would get that book and um, The Law of Success, or I'm sorry, The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. Um, some other ones, oh, the four hour work week, that's a really good one too. I remember somebody gave that to me a long, long, long time ago when I first started my business and I thought that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. But again, very, very good book about delegating and about how to make the best use of your time. Um, along the lines of time management type of things, Eat That Frog is really good by Brian Tracy. Any Brian Tracy books are also really good that I love, um, but Eat That Frog is really good um, about how to manage your time and know what, what projects you should start on first. Um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, another great book. Um, and then, of course, um, Tony Robbins or some Tony Robbins books. Um, one of the last ones I read was, uh, let's see, Awaken. The Giant with, From Within, and oh, there's another one. I'm looking on my website here, the, the other one. Oh my gosh, what was it? Um, it was, oh, here it is. Oh, uh, The Untethered Soul. That's another really good one, uh, Tony Robbins book. Um, Three Feet from Gold, another really awesome one. And actually, one of my really favorite books that I've read that um, I don't know if any of you have read it, but you know Gene Simmons from the band Kiss? is one of the most brilliant, brilliant, brilliant minds, brilliant businessmen in the world. His book, Me, Inc., is phenomenal, phenomenal. Me, Inc., I-N-G, just like Me, Incorporated, Inc., I-N-C, sorry. Gene Simmons, super amazing story how he grew up, like super, super poor, and how he came to America, and he learned how to speak English. He learned how to play instruments. He was a an elementary school teacher, people, Gene Simmons from KISS. His story is absolutely amazing, and there's a whole section in that book for teenagers and college-age students, high school students that you they absolutely need to read and listen to. He is a no-holds-barred, tell-you-like-it-is. He came to America. Another thing that I thought was phenomenal about that book, about him, I should say, 
is he learned really, really fast. When he came to America, he learned what it meant to be successful. And he knew he had a very, very strong accent. He was from the Middle East. Super strong accent, hard to understand. And he learned really fast by watching the news and the people and how they're act, you know, how they they have the middle mid eastern what do you call it mid western accent type of thing anyway he learned how to speak like an american with no accent it's crazy i mean he was just smart enough to do that and then of course his um, how his band became the most recognizable faces on the planet um, and he figured out that the most successful bands in the world, the, the most, uh, the way more successful was people like, like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, and they were all white men, right? And he said, well, all of them, they had darker skin, they did not look like the, the number one bands, and so that's where, um, well, he loved comic books, and so that's where it all came from, where they did the faces, and oh my gosh, he has had so many businesses, started so many businesses, and he's, he's brilliant. So I can't say enough about Gene Simmons. I think he's amazing. I would love to meet him someday if anybody knows him. <laughs> um, another awesome book is by Tony Shea from Zappos, Delivering Happiness. He did a study asking people what, um, you know, what they want out of life. And it really just boils down to wanting to be happy. And that's what he did. I and mean, he, his parents were... Um, Asian and of course wanted him to go to school and he he did, got good grades and all these things even though he was very entrepreneurial and um, he got a job and he was bored to tears he was not happy and that's kind of what started everything and he has a phenomenal story love his story Tony Shea's just amazing um, oh and if you want marketing books I love Jim Cochran uh, 101 free marketing 101 uh, no and low or free and low low cost marketing tips really really good stuff the silent sales machine super good stuff too um, let's see relentless now that one you guys would like because it's all uh, it's from Kobe Bryant's coach or um, you know they the, the the guy that worked with him and Magic Johnson and all these, you know, uh, sports guys, basketball players. His name is Tim Grover, and he's this this book. You got, you know, he's pretty like tough on it, and it's like the it's from good to great to unstoppable. It's about being relentless. If you if you want to get somewhere in life, you got to be relentless. You got to just go forward, and you got to make it happen. Um, what else? Okay. Um, you were born rich is also really good by Bob Proctor. I love anything Bob Proctor did. Um, the automatic customer, really good idea if you want to start a business. That's a great book on how to make sure your business is automated. And I just finished this book by Richard Branson, The Virgin Way. He is hilarious, first of all, really fun to listen to, and how to find out how he wants to have fun in his life, too, and how he lives his life. Um, he wants to have fun, and he wants his employees to have fun, and his virgin way as far as his company goes. And he's got some super funny stories, so I really, really like him, too. So go check out some of my books. They're on my website, so just go to suebrook.com, click on Resources, and then down underneath Resources, it says um, Books I Recommend. So go check that out. And uh, while you're there, you can click over to the right, um, and you'll see Sue's Top 11 Marketing and Business Tips, and you can go put your email in and download that. And um, that is all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. I'm getting some regulars here. Chris, you're on all the time. Cynthia, hey, are you in Palm Springs? Oh my gosh, Laurel, I really, really want to connect with you. Um, so anyway, hi everybody, and goodbye. I'm out of here for tonight. Go find a book to read and do what I do. I, I listen to Audible books, and I usually have it on every morning. I turn it on when I'm brushing my teeth and doing my hair and getting ready in the morning, and it gets me really expire, inspired. And when I'm in the car, I'm always ha I always have one of these books on there. So if you have any books that you recommend that I didn't, uh, that I, that's not on my page, and there's a bunch I haven't even updated it recently, but I would love to know if you have any books you recommend that we should read that are inspirational, motivational, mm -hmm. um, business. Oh, the E Myth. Yes, Susan, my friend Susan is actually here with me. Um, she worked for my Michael Gerber of The E-Myth. If you have a business, you absolutely have to read that book. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that is not on my page. Um, 
<laughs> that one you absolutely need to read. So, hey there, Cynthia. Have a great time. So that is it. Go ahead and please, um, if you could put a little, um, maybe a one, if you're watching this live and you've seen this live, and put a two if you're watching the replay. And please, please, please put some books that you love and you have listened to that's maybe changed your life or made things better for you or your business. Um, and so that's it. So have an awesome night, you guys. An awesome weekend. I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to head down towards the ocean in Orange County tomorrow. So that should be fun. I will do my um, video down there. <coughs> so have a great night. Go read a book. See you later.